Okay, YouTube, we're here with the Delta Ray that I made. It is ugly. It is heavy. It is turdish. It will run on 4S, 3S, or 2S. 2S is kind of a joke. It barely gets in the air. I'm running on a 2200 3S 60C pack. Got a little voltage alarm. Muddle trunnion gears. We're running six, uh, six, four, five props. Bull nose, counter rotating. Um, brushless ST22, uh, 2204 by Hobby King. Donkey motors, 1550 kV each. 30 amp um, donkey ESCs. And uh, we're just using a lemon six channel receiver. We got differential thrust programmed in. Throttle cut does work on this. We have a steerable nose gear, which works like crap because I don't really care that much about this plane right now. Throttle cuts off. We also have, we also have um, flapperons, spoileron configuration. And the idea is when you land, you can immediately deploy these. You can deploy these and they will lift the nose up. It's really sweet. I've only gotten it like one time. Um, the other thing that's really cool about this, the, the other thing that's really cool about this, I added a rudder and of course the steerable nose gear. The steerable nose gear works good. You can drive this thing off road. You can drive it on grass. So we're gonna go up here. Why don't we taxi it for the people? Okay. I'll taxi it off road. Wow. <laughs> that thing is a horse. And just so you guys know, it's rough here. Um, so like if you're gonna fly these things off road, then this is the way to go. And by the way, this plane is a handful, I have no stabilization on it. Okay, we're good. You're up. I'm used to flying this on 4S guys. See by lights, by strobes. About 60% throttle here. There's a hundred percent. It flies heavy. That's a hundred percent? Right now. It's on 3S. I designed it to run on 4S. Oh, okay. Cutting it back to 30% here. She'll fly fine. One click of flaps here, just to show you. Not really flaps, guys. The rudder is more effective here than I recall it being in the past. Mostly because the differential thrust does work on this. So here we go, high speed pass. Not really high speed right now because it's so doggy with three apps. Plus it's a little on the tail heavy side right now. Still rolls really good though. Kind of funny, you see that wiggle? That's from the tail heaviness, guys. Changes the CG when you put the gear out because I have made them tip in and out the same way. In its heyday on 4S, this thing would go straight up. Unlimited power. You really gotta fly it with no stabilization though, I'll tell you. Because it's so dang heavy and it's a little on the tail heavy side right now. Even with the 60C 3S pack. Man, what is going on with these bugs, Esteban? Are you noticing it too? Yep. Man, the Some birds must be stirring them up. It's really they're, annoying. They're really annoying. They keep hitting my face and stuff. See how tall the gear are? <laughs> All right, go get it. I, I did that just to show you it would land on grass. See, it, it righted itself. I didn't even see it. It's even a little bumpy out there for it because this is the manicured stuff. That's the really rough stuff. Mm -hmm. I, I landed my timber there too, but um, everything's intact. Um, this thing will fly forever on a 3S pack, but uh, just to show you the, I got a little trimming issue going on right now and 
I don't know if it's from differential thrust or if it's from the uh, from the rudder. But uh, having the rudder is really nice, but it's not necessary at all. But flying yours reminds me how nice it is to have a rudder. Whoa, that was pretty bad. Oh, this is what happens on my crappy design because I was learning a lot doing this plane. See how this, this little follower thing, I had that working really good at one point. That's what happens. And you just kind of basically have to have a block that keeps it from tipping. Cause then when you collapse the gear, then it allows the servo to move free. I don't know if I'd call any of that free, but uh, that's what happens when you're learning guys. Um, the other thing is like I've burned out lights and all sorts of things. Cause this, I built the circuit in this for all the flashing and everything. And I still really like it. It's still a fun plane, but it's not like, it's not a well done plane. It's just mm -hmm. fun. Okay, so gear coming up. It flies, it's more challenging to fly, but I've, I've learned to fly a lot better since I built it. Looks cool, doesn't it? Yeah, I like it. You'll buy it? <laughs> it give you, uh, give you 20 bucks for it. No way, man. Right here, it's worth a lot more than that. Just kidding. Funny thing about this plane, guys, I can land it with the gear retracted because you see the gear sticking down? That was a design, an accidental design scheme. Going over it. But you can't rudder turn with your Delta Ray, probably. And it still does a horrible job, even in this. I'm trying to get the trimming right. Oh, yeah, that's pretty good now. A lot better than it was. What do you think, Esteban? It's cool. Thirty dollars yet? I like to see it flying with a 4S battery. Dude, 4S, it's crazy. It's like crazy, scary fast. But on 3S, it's also a little bit less obnoxious because it gets kind of noisy with a 4S. And not only that, but I designed some pockets in the front so you can balance the plane better so you lose that CG tendency that I'm dealing with. But the big thing is about this plane, guys, is this Delta Ray is really a bulletproof frame. It's a really good design plane, really well designed plane. If you add a bunch of embellishments on it, you can make them fun, but you don't have to do any of that crap. You can go buy this thing today and be flying it tonight in like 10 minutes of work. Freaking bugs biting my elbows, the worst thing you can have happen. Okay, so I want to try to take a landing right where we are. I want to go stand by the, uh... okay, you're coming out. You want to stay, why not you move, 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 thank right you, right there. Just so I don't hit you. <laughs> That's awesome. This, this thing, it, it handles the off-road like no, no other plane I have. Um, if you guys are flying off the grass, this would be fine. I got these, I got these things from uh, Hobby King for, what did I get them like, 20 bucks, all in. 20 bucks, you can't even buy one retract for that. But they are such turds, and yet I love them. If I put these in a model, four times as big as this plane, they'd be effective. Um, which is hilarious because I've never gotten a model from Hobby King where the retracts work properly. So, go figure. And thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.